This is an autonomous snow blowing robot. And here I have plenty of snow. Let's see if this thing can remove it all. A big replaceable snow blower module in the front that can really remove a lot of snow, heated cameras for safety. That can detect humans and animals, RTK base station for centimeter level positioning, replaceable tracks, you have the winter and summer version of the tracks, and probably my favorite, inductive charging. Ready to charge. But removing the snow autonomously is not an easy task, so can it handle that? Let's see. Okay, but what exactly Yarbo is? According to their website, it's like everything robot for your yard. It can be a snow blower, it can be a lawn mower, it can even be a leaf blower and I think they plan more attachments in the future this year, here you can see it. Some of the stuff is launching this year, uh, like the Yarbo trimmer, adder, liquid sprayer and granule spreader, so that's pretty cool. I really like this idea that you have one core body of the robot and you just swap the attachments so that this thing can be a snowblower in winter and a lawnmower in the summer. It's pretty cool. I also like that this robot is not like a toy like some of the other like lawnmowers robot. This is professional, it looks very solid on the tracks. It's big, it's heavy, I do like it a lot but I cannot wait to unpack it, set it up and see how it works on my own. So let's do that now. Here is the robot. Here's the snow blowing module and that must be the charging station. The packaging is of course very safe but it's also quite easy to open everything. Fancy packaging. If you really want to you can even do it alone since you can just open the box like this, install the antennas, a few screws and of course the battery. The instruction is pretty clear. There are videos on YouTube that explain everything quite nicely and also you have labels on all the screws, even the tools. And with a controller or your phone you can just drive off the cardboard and that's it, you don't even have to lift it. That is so cool. And then of course is another box, the snow blower module. This is the snow blower module and here I can see the trucks the winter version of the trucks. Here is the data center or the cables, the poles, screws, all the accessories, instructions. And this is the top part of the snowblower module and this thing is to clean it and I guess some screws to mount it. Smart assistance module has to be taken off and the cable from it unplugged and then there is the satisfying click. For safety reasons the battery has to be unplugged when you are replacing the module so you need to plug it back in, turn it on and then you are ready to work. A controller very similar to the one from an Xbox is included in the kit which is pretty handy because in winter when it is super cold it's way easier to use the controller than the phone. And data station can be installed within 15 minutes. So here is the data station installed, it was just zip tied to the fence behind these trees and well that's it. It is flashing green because it needs to update the firmware which I'm doing right now. For the charging station you just connect it to power and that's it but the Yarbo here should be standing the other way around, I didn't know that yet. Also charging station should be fixed to the ground which I didn't do and had no problems at all. Yesterday I finished the setup of this thing and just after a few hours it started to snow and we finally have some snow. It's not much but it's definitely enough to start testing it. But firstly I have to set up the map. Setting up the map is super easy. You can just drive around the robot to set up the perimeter of the area that you want to clear of the snow and then it will automatically generate the path within this terrain. It's very easy, it's all clear in the app and you can easily modify it if you need to. And that's probably my favorite part because when you send it to charge it first clears the snow on the charging pad and then goes automatically into charging and the charging is wireless. Okay, all the paths look fine. Let's click start now. It will scream person detected in a moment, so I have to move back. 
That right here is the very first time I sent it to automatically remove the snow from the driveway and it worked flawlessly. I set the auger height a bit too high so as you can see it is not removing all the snow down there. The good thing is you can modify it even during the job. So the Yarbo is working, you can modify it, it will stop for a moment, update the value and continue working. And the very good thing is you can pretty much modify anything you want. Speed, height of the auger, the deflector angle on the top and you can also set where the snow should be blown which is pretty easily done on the map and then it will automatically rotate while driving to deposit the snow where you need it to be. And here you can see how it switches from blowing the snow to the right to blowing the snow to the left because it is closer. This automatic cleaning and charging is so cool, let's just watch it again. As you can see the driveway is pretty clean. We have some snow here on the side but that's on purpose so that the snow can be stored right there. Here is the first path when uh, the snowblower module was a little bit too high so that is already fixed and should be fine on the second pass. But other than that, that's pretty nice. Now I just need to wait for some more snow to fall and I will test it again. As you can see here in the front the lights are slightly covered with snow but the cameras are not and that's because there are little heaters built into the cameras so that these are always clean and the arp is safe. It's also here on the sides with mini heaters and in the back as well. And now it is charging and just the look of such a robot completely covered in snow. Oh this is so cool. And that for me was day number one of testing the Yarbo. At night it was snowing again and it was snowing a lot. So that's what I saw in the morning. It's completely covered in snow. Here on the top, you have a cleaning tool that lets you clean all the robot. And now I'm wondering, should I clean it or just leave it as it is and see if it works? Here is the Yarbo app, you just press your Yarbo. Here you can see the battery level, what is currently happening, in this case it's charging. The Bluetooth and GPS will connect in a moment, it is already connected and here we can see the map. Yarbo is in the charging station. Here is the terrain that it should clear and these red rectangles are the no-go zones. So I have it set up as plan one and here I can just start it. But one thing I might modify right now uh, is let's go to settings. And here you can set the agar speed mode, quiet, mild, robust, turbo. Let's start with mild. If that won't work, we will change it. So now I just press this button, start now. And in a few seconds, it should start working. Let's talk about safety right now. Yarbo has cameras all around so it can see everything in 360 and these cameras have little heaters built in so that snow does not cover them and that works very very well. I never faced a situation where there was snow on top of the camera. It can detect humans and animals. I found that it works 100% of the time for humans so when you are closed it will stop for a moment and when you go away it will continue working. It does not work all the time for animals or at least for this small dog because it is probably blending with the white snow. Additionally, there is the bar on the top of the Yarbo and that is the obstacle sensor. So whenever this hits something, the Yarbo will stop. I never faced a situation where I could test the obstacle sensor until I gave my brother the controller and he started manually controlling the Yarbo, but I will cover that in a moment. Safety works quite well in this robot, but you know what doesn't? Summer tracks in winter. Of course, winter tracks are included in the snowblower module, so you just need to swap them, it's not really that hard. But I was quite lazy and usually winter in Poland is not that bad. But there was a lot of snow and the Arbo was struggling. But surprisingly it never got stuck. It is kind of aware that it has some problems with moving and then it can just go back a little bit or turn and try to get out of the snow. And even on the summer tracks it managed to go back to the charging station when I told it to. 
And replacing these trucks is super easy and you have very clear instruction both in the instruction manual and also on YouTube. I was just too lazy to do this, but if you have your Yarbo and you are preparing it for the winter, I definitely recommend replacing the trucks in the first place because it will struggle on the summer trucks in the winter. This is the previous summer truck, this is the winter truck. Now it should have a lot more traction, let's try it. And with the brand new winter trucks, traction is not a problem, but setting the proper focus on a manual lens is a problem for me, sorry for that. And here it is already removing all the snow from the night. It makes a lot more sense to actually remove the snow frequently and avoid removing such a deep snow at once. And the snow is wet, so as you can see it is building up in front of the Arbo. If you want to improve the performance, you can remove the cage from the snowblower module, but for safety, I prefer to keep it there. Yarbo just completed the work and as you can see it is not perfectly clean but this snow, well, there's a lot of it and it's really wet, look it's like zero degrees so this snow is heavy and after shoveling for just a little while I'm done and I'm really glad the, the robot did the rest I think now I will lower the snow blowing module a little bit and I will let it do another run and then it should be perfectly clean and from now on I will just regularly turn it on so that it's clean all the time and it does not have to clean like 20 centimeters of snow. So that's the result. As you can see we have some snowballs in the middle but again, the snow is very wet. If you want to have a perfectly clear driveway, there is also an option in the app to work twice every single time. I showed you that it can be autonomous, but of course you can also control it manually via the app with the phone, or there is included remote that looks like uh, the one from Xbox, and it's pretty easy to use. There are some safety features that you have to press a button in order to drive it. And of course, you can control the height of the auger, what does this button do? Oh, it controls the lights, you can also rotate and as well turn on the auger. Now I want to try to remove some snow in the manual mode. And that remote makes a lot more sense than you may think, because imagine operating your phone in thick gloves in winter when it is cold. Even if your gloves have this thing that you can use the touch screen, it's not really that comfortable, but with the remote, it's actually perfectly fine. So removing the snow in the manual mode, of course, works. And it works quite well. There is a lot of coordination that you have to do uh, to manipulate everything at once. It is totally doable, and I think the like control logic is assigned to the buttons pretty well. Uh, but you have to remember to raise the snowblower module to rotate the chute. It's challenging, but you can definitely do that. The automatic snow removal makes a lot more sense. But if you want to have fun and control it manually like this, of course you can. I gave my brother the remote and he started removing the snow manually and he liked it quite a lot. And that's when I got an opportunity to test the obstacle sensor. So he was removing the snow and took a wrong turn and hit the house. and the obstacle sensor detected that, nothing really happened. Of course, the obstacle sensor works both in the manual and automatic mode, so whenever the Arbo hits something, it will stop and nothing bad will happen. And obviously, cleaning the snow at night works as well, and thanks to all the lights, looks pretty cool. So Yarbo is a snowblower in the winter, it can be a lawnmower or a leaf blower in the summer, but it can also tow stuff, like for example a trailer or you on the sleds or even a car. And I got an opportunity to tow not just any random car, but probably the heaviest car that is out there. And it's obviously not mine, it's Tesla Cybertruck. 
it struggled a bit in the front so we moved it to the back hoping that we are not gonna break it this back part because if you saw some YouTube videos the chassis of this car in the back is not really that strong and it managed to do it, it actually worked. The driveway is quite level so probably it was just the uneven terrain of the snow and yeah it worked despite being on the snow and the Arbo as you can see sometimes loses a bit traction but still manages to pull such a heavy car. Maybe towing a car is not a great example because how often do you have to do that but if you have I don't know a trailer, a boat maybe, or even a plane you can tow that with Yarbo because it's powerful enough and that's quite impressive. In my opinion, Yarbo really is a well-built and engineered robot and the snowblower module really works and removes the snow completely autonomously. If you are interested in removing the snow automatically from your driveway or having a really decent robot in your garden, go check out the Yarbo, I will link it in the description. I'm also really curious to hear your thoughts, so please leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Happy making, bye!